the Biden administration's policies, words and actions, um, it, it's just been made very clear to us what their real goal is. And their real goal is destruction of the Russian state. Uh, we heard just a few days ago how Secretary of Defense Austin kind of spilled the beans on what our real mission and goal is when he said, and I quote, we want to see Russia weakened to the degree it cannot do the kinds of things it's done in invading Ukraine. And so what that means is total destruction of the Russian state. What he's not telling the American people is that Russia has also made it very clear that if we even get close to, quote unquote, winning in achieving this mission and goal he's outlined, Russia said, said very clearly uh, they will have no other option than to resort to the use of nuclear weapons, starting first with tactical nuclear weapons and, if necessary, escalating to the use of strategic nuclear weapons. This is not fear-mongering to point this out. The American people need to know that this is the track that this administration has put us on and the very dire consequences that will occur if we continue down this path to our families, our communities, our country, and frankly, the world. This is the reality that we're facing. They're acting like he's Mullah Omar, some illiterate goat herd who we can just dictate terms to. I mean, this guy runs a country with 6,000 nuclear weapons. Do they know that? Uh, I would hope that the Secretary of Defense and the President of the United States would know this, that Secretary of State Blinken would know this. Uh, you know, there, there's no explanation for their actions, their decisions, and their policies because it directly threatens the lives and well-being of the American people, but not only the American people, frankly, the world, if we continue down this. I think on, on a hopeful note, it's not too late that by God's grace, we the people can stop this before it's too late by taking action, throwing out the warmongers that are in Congress, and actually voting for and electing leaders in this country who will take action to end this insanity before, frankly, the world is destroyed. I, I thought bringing in Kamala Harris was the most reckless thing I'd ever seen. I stand corrected. This is the most reckless thing I've ever seen anybody do ever. You called it early. I hope in some life, you're rewarded for that. Tulsi Gabbard, thank you. Thank you.